What's going on guys? Today we're actually going to be fixing white china. So this is the part right here that we need to fix. Uh, I believe the only tool we actually need is this 9mm or it might be an 8 but this 9 fits. 9mm wrench. It's probably be easier to do with a line wrench because it grips some more size but just use what we have for now. We got some clutch fluid. I got all this parts at AutoZone. This costs about like 54 bucks or something. I don't know how much this cost. I sent somebody there to get it for me, so but I just know that that the part that we need mostly was $54. So I'm gonna show you guys what to check to see if your fluid is low and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and look into that. I had the hood pop some. We're gonna go there and inspect and see what's going on with this car. Oh, by the way, guys, if you guys see this little fuzzy little thing, that's just a little fuzzy thing on my mic. So I'm using a wide angle lens, so that's the only reason you can see it. On a regular mic, I mean on a regular lens, I should say, you wouldn't be able to see my little fuzzy thing for my mic. Anyway, let's get to it. Alright, so we go to the car, we're going to see this little thing right here. It's where all the fluid goes, the clutch. So, i open that up. And as you can see in there, it's bone dry. Nothing in there. Sorry, it's gone focus. It's nothing in there. Like, my hand's a little moist, but... <laughs> but it should be so so yeah that is definitely definitely low so I know in my last video somebody said that my intake was stupid to change I didn't change it but in fact it was very dirty and it was very shitty looking and I mean that just goes to show you how people take care of their cars they really don't care how it looks they really just have shitty parts in there and make it look all dusty and dirty but not me I'm gonna clean this thing up because that's what I do, homie. And we're actually gonna paint this today too. We're gonna paint that blue. So just a heads up for you guys. I'm actually gonna change this. I'm gonna put the regular OEM Honda one on there because I don't want that red to. It's gonna take away from like it stands out too much. Very stands out too much. So yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Also, somebody told me about this box um, that I'm getting hot air, which I know I'm getting hot air because it's in the engine bay. I'm not stupid right thing. Another car running cold air, but this one I'm actually just running short round. I didn't have the box that came with it, so it, it already had a short round, so I just replaced it with a new one just to make it look more clean, and it needed a new filter anyway. But. So we're going to change this one out. Forgot to do it now. And then waiting. Just put the black one on there. Just because it matches a little better. OEM Honda one. Okay, so we're inside the car and one of the things I said in the internet to check was uh, up here like the end of the clutch where it goes into to check if that's leaking okay where this little dude is at this thing right there if that's leaking that's another part you need to change but ours is not leaking it's definitely dry so we just gotta change that one part that we have okay that's probably have to change right there I right, said so it's not right here you know loosen that up uh, there's bolts under there's two bolts under there that connects to the sleigh cylinder so you're gonna take those off it's hard to see from where I'm at but they're there so you're gonna take those off and uh, I'll let you guys know what size that is as well and after that it just comes straight off so we're gonna go ahead and do that okay so there we have it I'm actually still using the mic I actually got it to work to fit so yeah there we go, but I just spray with a little WD-40 just to make life a little easier, just in case it's going to be a bitch today. So I didn't even get to this bitch. Yeah, it's a 10. Uh, there we go. There it is, now it's off. Alright, so first problem that I realized on this thing, well it's not really a problem, but it's just a little concern. There's supposed to be two bolts to hold this thing up. There's only one, so somebody changed this before and they put the right part on there. So it was a 12, which I'm using a ratchet wrench to make life easier. That's why I bought these. 
difference between this car and my other car is this one has a lot more shit in it. AC, power steering, even windshield wiper fluid lines and shit. Alright, so got the part off. Here's the old one right here. And here's the new one. So I better go ahead and install the new one. And push some clutch fluid in here. I hope this shit getting tight. <laughs> Can't really tell. The last bolt. I did this bolt out from my stash. So it's like square. So I always keep all the bolts. You never know which one's gonna help you out in the long run. There we go. Toast. All the way bolted on. So we gotta put that line back on. When you tighten this thing on, you gotta make sure you got it just right. It's gonna cross thread. It. it should just spin all the way on. If you're having trouble spinning it, it's probably cross threaded. So don't keep tightening it. Make sure it's on right. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we got some fluid in there. There's some fluid right here. So I'll go ahead and add some in there. Ain't got shit. See the pedal stuck to the floor right here? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna pull the pedal up with your foot and you're gonna push down and push up a few times until it starts. Like you see that we uh, opened the bleeder line, so we're just gonna wait till it starts coming out of there. You, sh you should be able to do less than 10. If you're doing this by yourself, I would like maybe do two pumps and then go check it just to be on the safe side. So we're gonna do that right now. And you see you only did three pumps and you see it's already like coming out. It's there on the bottom of on the ground. So only three pumps. So I want to tighten it back in, push it some more, build up the pressure. Alright, that's good enough for me. Alright, so I'm gonna try to blade this bitch. Go ahead and crack it just a little bit. So I can get all the air out the system. Alright, so you guys, the fluid actually came out. I was pumping and trying to clear this system, the lines of air. So, right now, I just better add some more in there. Alright, guys, so after pushing the clutch, and I heard like a solid squirt and not just like bubbly squirts, if that makes any sense. So what I did, I went back, put the cap back up, went back from the inside. You guys got me on Facebook, you will, will see I was doing this live, even though my service is kind of shitty. You can see the clutch pedal is up, push it down, comes right back up, comes right back up. Boom, so that bitch done. Now I just gotta turn this bitch on and Drive it around the driveway and hopefully that my shit don't fucking fuck me up. I gotta push this bitch back into the spot. Which it shouldn't because the clutch is coming back up. So, this is a test run. I know I have like one of those cars that pisses off the neighbors and shit when I fucking turn it on because it's so fucking loud. Niggas probably still asleep from Thanksgiving and shit. My bad. I'll do this on purpose. Let's hope for the best, y'all. Let's hope for the best. All right, here we go. So I gotta get a new header, unless it's fucked. As I'm changing the oil, see my header is fucked. Just smash. I was when I was test driving, I was wondering why it was kind of going slow. There's a lot of power like that. A lot of a lot of uh, restriction.
fucked up because there's a dent in the header, which I ordered, just waiting for it to come in. So, oh, she's back driving, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and check reverse, just to make sure. Fine. Watch mother car have power steering. It's luxury compared to mother car. Power steering AC. Everything my car don't have. So now we know it's drivable. I really don't want to drive with the header fucked up like this, but it's the only way to actually tell if. I fixed the problem, which I did, so, bet, it's not like shit though. I just want to thank y'all for watching, make sure you like, share, subscribe, I told y'all, channel was not going to be down for long, look at that, pretty little intake on her, look at her, as y'all can see, I actually reposted a video, I actually uh, fixed the audio and stuff, took all, a lot of the music out, so I listened to y'all, a lot of y'all didn't like that, so I took that out, I won't do that no more, thank you for the uh, constructive criticism for my videos. But I want to make sure I put out stuff that you guys like. So I actually threw the video out again to make sure you actually enjoyed that. But um, she's back up. Today we're going to go get some spray for the valve cover. We're going to spray this up. I just want to show you guys the difference between these two motors. Stock, everything, except for that intake. That's the only thing that's not stock on here. I'm going to come to Tiffany. So you can see a difference. <laughs> you can see just look how much how the lack of stuff, look at all this room. I can literally step in this bitch. And touch the ground. So, yeah, she ain't got shit up in there. Nothing in there. We'll come back to China. She has everything in that motherfucker, so. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so next time, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. I'll always be back with another video. Hope you guys enjoy this. Until next time, salute.